Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Anna Mae and I would love if you subscribed. In today's video I'm going to be telling you how you can see Paris in a day from my own experience. Uh, you're not going to see absolutely everything in a city in one day but my friend and I did this a couple of weeks ago when we went there at the start of January for my 21st birthday even though I turned 21 in October but that's a story. We did almost all of our sightseeing and stuff by foot. Um, for us that was just the best idea. We wore the right shoes, kind of. But yeah, so I guess I'll just get started. I have like a little infographic map that I've put together to help kind of explain it all. But yes, as I said, you're not gonna see absolutely everything in the city. Um, there's some things that we cut out and some things that we can put in. And yeah, I guess I'll just get started. So we started off the day in Angelina, which is a really beautiful, old like tea room and cafe uh, restaurant and I'll have it on the map <laughs> um, so we started off there and that was at like 9 a.m. or 9 30 a.m. it was early enough for us we were pretty tired actually from traveling the night before so I'll insert some photos here and um, in some of them I'm kind of like because eh, I'm like so tired but it was so so lovely we had the Parisian breakfast I think um, but that was a gift from my best friend's mom, who's like my other mom, basically. Um, I've known her my entire life. And she's my like neighbor. So she had gifted that little experience for us uh, to go there for breakfast. And it was really, really lovely. Um, would definitely recommend it if you can. Kind of splash out and do it. Um, and it's really, it's really, really cute. So we finished up there. Um, and we walked then through gardens I cannot remember the name of the map isn't exact so we walked through these gardens and we went over to the Louvre and we did not go inside the Louvre we did take photos outside of it which I'll insert here but we didn't really have any interest in going inside we had prioritized another museum and to be honest we wanted to see the outside of the Louvre more than we wanted to see the Mona Lisa or anything else inside of it just wasn't our scene um, and I don't know what the admission prices are for the Louvre. Um, so we walked then, after going there, having a little look around the area, um, we walked to Musée d'Orsay, I think is how you'd say it, and we actually went to a couple exhibitions. We went to the Degas one, and then we went to another one I can't remember the name of. That was a lot of... Um, Oh, it's killing me what it's called now. Flip, I can't remember. It was super lovely. Had a walk around there, very nice, very calm. Again, took some really pretty pictures. Just follow me on Instagram at anime.yt to see all those cute Paris pictures. But we went in there, we had a good walk around. That was all good. Kind of a maze trying to get around that museum, but also lovely. And if you are a student, you can get in for free. It is not advertised on the like signs or anything but my friend had researched this and she was like I'm sorry I keep touching my hair she had said like I'm, I'm pretty certain they're gonna let us in for free but it wasn't up on the, all the signs so we were kind of nervous and it was supposed to be like 12 euro instead and we were kind of like I don't know so sorry I keep going out of focus but um so she went up to the counter she speaks French I don't I speak a bit of German so not that helpful in Paris but um she went up to the counter and asked the woman she was like we're students is there a student price and she was like yeah it's free <laughs> so you know they don't advertise it but it is there so definitely avail of that and we just went over to the admissions gates and you're just going to show your ID and um my student ID doesn't have an expiry date on it which is kind of annoying so they were a bit like sus of that and I was like I only started college three years ago so I couldn't have possibly completed a bachelor's in that times anyways but they let me in they let my friend in as well she just started college so of course and um yeah so it's really fun to have readmission I'll say that for sure and um, we then walked from there down kind of I remember like a, a big wide avenue slash park and down to the Champs-Elysees and we walked down the Champs-Elysees and we went into Sephora that was it we weren't there for shopping uh, so I cannot give you any shopping recommendations honestly the only thing my best friend wanted was a t-shirt that says I heart Paris so we went into a lot of like tacky tourist shops that was the only thing we just walked down the Champs-Elysees until we got to the Arc de Triomphe 
and I hope I'm saying that correct as well, which you can go on top of now. Um, I had been embarrassed before when I was a child and that was not a thing that you could do, but uh, now it is. And it is free for a lot of people. <laughs> I think it's free for children and then it's, yeah, it's just free for a lot of people. If you're an EU citizen, uh, between the ages of 18 and 25, like you don't have to be a student, you're just an EU citizen, so we showed our driver's licenses, because um, we're both Irish citizens, um, it's free, which is great. So we went up there, took some lovely, lovely photos. I have a lot of like really nice, like skyline almost pictures, like bird's eye view Paris. It's just so, so nice. Um, great for photo ops. It does have like weird like metal grates, so it's, it's not the best for like people photos, but you can like stick your camera above it and it's perfect. Um, so that's a really nice place to visit and um, yeah, it's really funny watching people like taking blog photos and stuff like that, like nearly getting run over by cars. Like guys, uh, don't do it, it's dangerous. But honestly, if I went back, I'd probably do the same thing. So whatever. And then we walked from there to the, is, I think the area is maybe Jardin de Trocadero. I'm not sure. It is like a gardens and it's basically where everyone takes their photos in front of the Eiffel Tower. We did not want to go up the Eiffel Tower. I don't know how much that costs, if it's free for students or anything, but we wanted to see it, not be on it, because then you can't see it. Does that make sense? So it was just not something either of us were interested in. I think she had maybe been up there previously. I had too as a child, except it was dark, but <laughs> I don't know about her. It just wasn't something that really interested us. Um, so I'm gonna, I will say that all the walking we did, it was a lot of walking. Um, when we were walking from the Arc de Triomphe to um, the gardens in front of the Eiffel Tower, we did stop for like a croissant, you know, as you do, um, and a bit of caffeine. So we did stop there, but um, we just kept walking and walking and walking. And I think, Kleber? Kleber? I don't know how you'd say the, the name. It sounds kind of German actually, is how it like looks. But that was like the avenue that we walked down the whole way. Um, and we took some photos there. Everything was great. And um, yeah, so that was kind of like what we had planned. And we thought that would take a lot longer, but it was only like 3 p.m. when we finished because we started so early. So that hopefully kind of explains it all. Hopefully the infographic can kind of show it to you. But I think it's pretty good to get in, you know, the outside of the Louvre, a museum. We obviously had the breakfast in the place, the Arc de Triomphe, walking down the Champs-Élysées, and taking photos in front of the Eiffel Tower in one day. You know, not even like a full, full day. We did go from there at Trocadero. You can take a metro. Um, we took like I think we had to change once or twice, honestly, to get to the Sacre Coeur. We didn't go to Notre Dame. Um, it wasn't something that really either of us were like, oh yeah, let's go there for sure. But we'd heard that the Sacre Coeur was nice and we had seen it when we were on top of the Arc de Triomphe. So we were like, oh yeah, let's go there. Um, <clears throat> honestly, that's not included in the infographic. That was not the best idea. Um, it was, like it was beautiful. But um, we were both Catholic, so like, makes sense. But um, my friend ended up getting her phone stolen there. Pickpocketing is like, it's raging in Paris. Like, it's really, really bad. And we thought we had just been lucky all day. And I had been told, even by my own brother, like my younger brother who went there on a school trip, that like, the Sacre Coeur is the worst place for pickpocketing. And I was like, oh yeah, okay, whatever. And I don't know why we thought we were invincible because we had lasted, you know, so long and we had all of our stuff on us and we were doing so well. And yeah, my friend had her brand new phone. It was uh, her iPhone that she'd gotten for Christmas and it was stolen out of her pocket. She took her hand out of her pocket. She'd had it only because she was holding it um, <clears throat> so that it wouldn't get stolen. And she had to take her hand out of her pocket to put her Metro ticket into the machine. And when she did that, someone, took it from her and then that was it. We had to go to the police. Uh, that's not on the map either, but yeah, I'm out of focus, sorry. But um, yeah, that's not included clearly on this map was uh, Sacre Coeur. You can go there from Trocadero, like if you want to do that. If you do, don't have a backpack, don't have your phone in your pocket. Um, be like super aggro because I was super aggro the entire time and that's, the only reason I think I didn't get pickpocketed. Like, it's really, really bad. Uh, which is kind of annoying because Paris is such a beautiful city, but also, like, you don't want to be robbed. You know what I mean? It's 
kind of annoying. Um, there's a lot of people like kind of harassing you for money and stuff like that. Um, you just can't give people the time of day, honestly. So if you have any questions as to like how we did things or how we also saw things, uh, we were there for two days. The second day we just did Disney and then we went to a place called the Grilled Cheese Factory. Adults. Um, which I would definitely recommend. I'll have the address like down in the description box because it was so amazing. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If it was helpful, definitely leave a comment below or if you're going to Paris, um, definitely leave a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel to see more from me and more travel videos and stuff like that. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.